Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Jake, this is JB Tech. Today I'm going to be telling you whether the iPhone 5 is still worth it in 2017. So let's get into the video. So Orkia having a giveaway over on their Facebook page with some cool products from their company. So links will be in the video description. The contest ends on Monday, so make sure you go enter the giveaway and maybe you can win some cool prizes. The iPhone 5's design has held up really well over the past couple of years. Most phones back in 2012 were made of plastic, so Apple were really ahead of the game here. The iPhone 5 still looks really premium compared to the newer devices out there. No wonder Apple came back with the iPhone SD. The iPhone 5's specs still stand up really well today for a budget device. The iPhone 5 has one gigabyte of RAM and a 720p retina display, which I have to say still looks really good today. The iPhone 5's cameras have also held up really well with an eight megapixel camera on the rear and a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front facing camera. Let's take some photos to show you how good it really is. So let's open the camera app. I'll take, I don't know what to take a picture of. I'll take a picture of my leg because I'm weird like that. You still get an idea of how good the quality is. Actually, I've taken a picture there, but I'll also do a picture like this instead just to show you how good the camera is. Like that. Bit blurry, but that'll do. And then let's switch to the front facing camera and take some sort of selfie. I, the phone's at a bit of an advantage for that because I've got photography and video lighting on to make this quality look really good for the video. But it is still a really good camera, I have to say. The iPhone 5 is still extremely fast and can handle nearly everything you throw at it. The reason for this is Apple's optimization with the software as the iPhone 5 still keeps getting updates from Apple and I hope it will in the future as the, the device will just keep staying fast and it will still last even longer. A couple of issues personally I've had with the iPhone 5 is that Wi-Fi cuts out for no reason. It just turns off Wi-Fi on the phone and then randomly connects again. It's really annoying say when I'm watching a YouTube video or streaming Spotify as it just cuts out randomly but it shouldn't happen for other people as it might just be the device I've got. Another issue I've had is battery life, which is a big problem with old phones. If you can find a newer iPhone 5 out there, it's less likely to have a battery issue, but you can get the batteries replaced for 50 quid and you can still get a cheaper iPhone with getting the battery replaced. You can pick this iPhone up for around 100 to 150 pounds, depending where you buy it. I'll leave a couple of links in the video description to where you can go buy the device. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. And remember to tell me why down below in the comment section. My name is Jake. This has been JB Tech. I'll see you in my next video.